This is why we are recording Chapter 2, Slavery. This may sound funny to you, but my grandfather Joseph didn't allow any of his kin to eat black-eyed peas on New Year's Day. Even though it's an old African-American tradition, the beans bring good luck for the coming year. They say, but Pat, which is what we called him, wouldn't hear of it when he was a young boy. Each New Year's Day, buckets of black-eyed peas were boiled and poured into a horse trout for all of the slaves on the plantation to eat like animals. Pat hated it and vowed that none of us in his family would ever allow people to treat us that way. Pat was the only African, Africa-born slave in my family. Pat was captured in 1850 when he was only six years old and brought to America. Even though it had been illegal to capture and import slaves to America since 1807, it still happened and often. On New Year's Day of every year, Pap told us the story. When I was a child, I would play with all the, the other children in my village while the grown folk were <laughs> working far away in the fields. They told us to look out for kidnappers because they were stories of people who weren't who went missing mostly slave Heart and Soul, the story of African American Americans. Children left at home during the day. One day when the day grown folk were gone out to the day field, several of those people ran into day village carrying nets and clubs and grabbed me and several other children for we could cry out. They covered our mouths, tied our hands, and ran off with us in two-day woods. That's it. Yay. So, Vibe, Ooh. what do you think about this um, video? Oh, oh, my God. Tell us in the comments below. There's a tree. I mean, they, they could have used their feet. Yeah. Yeah, now we discussed them. They would have to wash their feet. They're shoeless, so, I mean, what's the matter? And after eating it off the grass, yuck. And being like like dogs, fly. nope. And crash into a tree. I mean, you have to eat in something. that tree. Well, they have to feed them. Well, that's yep. a good thing, but yep. well, Mr. not out of old oh, horse trap. No nope. trap. Horse trap. You mean a horse towel? What is Trow. it called? Trow. Yeah, I won't eat out of that. Any no, of. me. I would let, I would let, um, I would let, um, I'll get my plate and eat I would let an animal eat home. out of that. I would like, I would like let a horse eat out of that if I had a horse. What if you didn't have a place? <coughs> Alan. Eat off the grass. Black eyed peas off the grass? No. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be some dirty peas. <laughs> dirty like black. I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't eat it. I would eat, like eat the other. You would have to eat it or die. What would you do? Um, die. I would. I would rather eat it. Wait. I would, would they like kill get a you if salad. you didn't eat it? You would die of starvation. I'll eat it then. I mean, at least it's food. Cause I mean, is that all they're giving you? If that's all they're giving, they're giving you, some you should drink. be grateful. What water? What you have? If I lived in the Take wild, water if, and cornbread. If I lived in the wild, then I would like get a two sticks. I would get one for me, so we can kill animals and eat it. But if there were like black-eyed peas, I would get that other stick and cook it. Like put it on the stick and cook it. They I, I would like have to get three me. sticks, three sticks, and then like I would like, 
um attach like uh, this handle to it and like you like roast it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I don't think a black eyed pea is too small to fit um to roast on a stick. I'm gonna take it. Maya. That big. This has been a YBE production. And Alan, you 